Hi there, this is Darren from Treasure Life Family Farms, and today we're on a little project for our gator. And it is cold and winter out in Illinois this year. It's 2021, 20, about uh, 10th of uh, February, and the temperatures are down super cold, like five below when you wake up, three below. And our gator <clears throat> has been getting stuck on the way out to the chickens in the morning. So uh, we priced out some tire chains, which are kind of hard to come by, and you got to order them and all kinds of problems. So uh, ultimately, I watched a YouTube video, and we're going to just make tire chains for ourselves. First thing to know, these tires are 25 by 13-9. Kind of a balloon type tire and what we want to do is we just want to throw a tape measure across here and figure out how wide to go and i'm going to go 18 on this we want about an 18 inch diameter uh set of tire chains and uh kind of one of the big reasons for that is on the inside there's gearbox and stuff, so you don't want to go too narrow on that, especially on the inside, because then you'll be maybe rubbing on that stuff, and we don't we want to stay clear of it. And the other thing we are kind of shooting for is that we don't get into our mud flaps with our chains. And if we get to spinning backwards, I could see that might catch. I hope not, or we're gonna try to be aware of it. So we're 18 wide. And then we wrap the tape measure back around the other way to figure out that we're about 17 inches on the, the chain treads. So that's how we're going to build them and we'll see how we do. All right, so we took uh, one of our 20 foot lengths of chain and we're going to make the four uh, diameter pieces basically out of this that go around the outside of the tires and the inside of the tires. And with 20 feet, you should be able to get four 60s out of it, but you don't. We are right around 59 inches, and then that's it. Otherwise, we come up short on one of these chains, but that's fine. 59 will do it. Uh, we measured 18 inches wide, or diameter, times pi comes up to uh, around 56, I think. So these will already have about... Mm, three extra links on them so I think we'll have plenty of room in case there's any uh, sizing or tightness issues that is the plan then so we're gonna cut these two links off and then we're gonna cut off uh, this one link here and then the two extras down here uh, stay tuned here we go all right, so what we want to do here, every time we cut the chain, is we're going to slice through, and I'm going to actually cut through where it's already welded one, you know, originally, roughly. And then we'll use the pliers to just bend this link out a little bit. So there you go. It'll look like that. Keep those links, because you're going to want them when we go to put everything back together. have that with a pair of pliers if you got a heavier chain you might need to use something more that might not be enough to get you just want to bend it enough to get the links uh, to get the chains apart just, just like that and then keep it like I say keep a hold of these because you're going to use these when you start putting the lugs back together on the actual chains themselves all right, so what we have here, this is 17 heading towards 18 inches long. Uh, we actually took the chain over and kind of wrapped it around the tire where we think that the, uh, the uh, inner and outer uh, chain will run. That's 21 lengths long, so every time I go to do one, I hold it up, uh, find the 22nd link and clamp it in the vise. And we're doing the same thing here that we were doing when we split those other chains. We just grind it and then we uh, twist it over with the pliers, take it apart and do it again. Hopefully we end up with 
Uh, 14 of these is where we're uh, going for right now. Uh, seven on each side. That'll space them about eight inches apart a piece, which is maybe not enough. And if we need to, we can always take them off and come back and put one between each one at about four inches. So let's uh, keep going. We're gonna take these all apart until we run out of chain. And uh, hopefully we have 14 of them when we get done. All right, we got this all laid out. Uh, what we did was we started on the second link here, put our first chain across. We actually welded that one together on one end, just to see how that goes. Uh, works pretty good. Then we, uh, on this chain, we don't count this, and then we say one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And then we do that on both sides. And then we re-put re the links sort of together with the pliers. I'll show you that in a second. We'll do this one here while you're watching. Get the camera right here. This here is all spread. With this light of chain, it's not too bad to just do this with pliers. Just grab it with pliers and then just sort of twist it back. You don't have to get it the gap closed or anything. Just get it so that it's not going to fall apart when you start pulling it around. And we'll do that on both sides for every cross link we got until we get down there and then we'll start welding welding those up and we'll be ready to try this one out after that we're getting close it doesn't take it very long either all right our welder is a uh a lincoln handy mig i've got it set on uh high one so it's not full blast but it's a little hot and my wire feeds on five which is not really a factor welding will chain because uh, for the most part it's just a spot weld. So here's what we're doing next. Let me see if I can get the camera set up to, to watch the vise here. We're just going to pull this thing in here now. Find all of our links. Find all of our links where uh, we've got the split in them. Get them in the vise here. I don't know if you can see see that. Maybe if I hold it from the top. Get the get in the vise there, and just kind of give it enough to bring it together and take that gap out of it that uh, we added when we put that gap out. Of it. We we added that gap when we kind of cut it with that grinder wheel, so it's not exactly coming back into just uh, the way it originally was hopefully i can weld this now without getting the gopro i'll try not to i'm just gonna hook my uh ground onto uh this green around here i'm just gonna hook it on the back of here that should do it because that whole channel piece is kind of part of here. And uh, then we don't have to worry about our ground so much. Do a little weld. No, our ground's not working out. So we're going to put our ground. Let's do it around the other side. Put the ground onto the major vice there. Do a little touch like that. It ain't much. I don't know if these are all popping apart on me. Down the road. Now we just gotta be careful to not uh, grab onto any of the hot water. Be a little major with this point right there. Get it all hot, uh, that's a hot metal. So you just bring it enough to close the gap and weld it again. Ah! 
So that'll probably be all the ones I'll film. I'll do the rest of them. And then uh, we'll be pretty much ready to try it on and see if it works on the Gator. All right, I think we got a formula we can believe in here. Since I uh, turned the camera off, we finished welding up uh, all the links on both sides. So they're all welded back together. Those links are a little tricky to weld, not too bad. Be careful, because you don't want to melt them out and redo any of them. I didn't, didn't do that on any of them, thankfully. So uh, then I jacked up the gator. I think that's going to be the easiest way to get them on. Took it out of uh, rear differential lock so I can spin the wheel. And then uh, just started putting them on. Uh, on the <clears throat> when I got them on there, I had a tail left of about six links, so I zip tied that over here. Uh, I don't know if I should cut that off or not, but for now we'll leave it. Did the zip tie on the inside, and then I put the bungee out here. I don't have a bungee on the inside, but I think that's okay. So we're gonna try this and see how this works. I can already see in the overall. I probably should buy another. Uh, 20 foot length of chain and put one more in between each one But this will do us for now. I've got to go build the other one. Uh, you know, I've got the sides cut uh, I've got all the parts cut. I just got to kind of put together. So uh, We'll go do that and get the other side on